走しているようです。もちろんですわかりましたガッ I feel sick don't like this at all this porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news I know I'll be careful not exactly one of your strong suits Listen, first sign of trouble, be Delta. Hanako sama ga omachi da. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. We're not sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now. I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul, even slightly interested in the matter, believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life. Ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I... Don't know. Three times now that AB has flown by. Think someone might have told you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that. Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. 
Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Fucking busboys here must make a kill on the tips. We have little sure time. Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on. Talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punished. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. And... Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. No wish to, or no permission, you being a woman. I decide my own fate, as should you. So? Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? <laughs> Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know, and that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, yeah. It's just dumb. You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air. Right now. Two feet. Well, I'm good to go. Body listens to me. See what I'm getting at? Yeah, I get it. I don't like it one bit. I'm still going Come strong. Come on, face the facts. Pop some pseudo endotrizine. Scooch and let me get behind the wheel. 
I'll get us to fucking Mikoshi. Yeah? How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Mikoshi. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Gotta stop you, dickhead. What's your scheme? This is my body. I make the calls. Not this time. Uh, Johnny! Jesus, look at you. Can't even... Great, you checking out again? What... am I? No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. Easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. It means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head... Ah! Almost done, stabilizing the biochip. Uh, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then, you shoved my patient at the time off the table. And demanded you be treated immediately. Dominant was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Order a weaker poison next time. This ain't no joke, kid. As I see it, there won't be a next time. All right. That should be a little better. Try sitting up carefully. I'll try. I think I'm getting some feeling back. Ah! Slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Hmm. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I know Gonna of it. Keep me waiting all day. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrizin there. A gift from Misty. 
Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue, Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Oh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess. My aura is sputtering. Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm hmm Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Dang. 
Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, you should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. It's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? S sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? To know that we'll see each other again. What? You know... Fine. Fuck no, off. no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something... Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this... hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd have had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm-hmm. Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. I'm gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Try this with Pen Am. We're a lot alike. Trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh. Just want to be there for it. Where? Inside Makoshi. 
Johnny? Okay, just me now. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? Yeah. This might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. You have to wait. Mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely Johnny. He has one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh-huh. V? Have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no. 
I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistaking that ride ever. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Um, I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out, we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. <laughs> 